Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to London. So I'm going to show you some of my outfits that I was wearing these last couple of days and I'm also going to show you some parts of London so hopefully you're going to enjoy spending some time with me today. Okay, so I will start with my usual place which is by the river. It is between London and Tower Bridge and I will end up at the Citizen M Hotel which I'm going to show you as well. It's super cool and stylish. Now my first outfit is very comfortable, I am wearing a beige coat from Uniqlo and I paired it with the same colored jumper, then a leather mini skirt and a pair of Doc Martens. The bag is Rolf Lauren quilted shoulder bag which is classic and balance the look with chunky boots. It's one of those minimal outfit looks in neutral colors at the same time there is a mix of different textures like leather, soft knit, chain strap and quilted bag. Now this is the Citizen M Hotel by Tower Bridge and as you see it has a unique style. It's London inspired with a red sofa, London themed decor, so I'm sure if you're a tourist here this is a hotel to be. So here I filmed the intro for this video which is in the lobby on the first floor but I'm also going to show you the bar upstairs that has amazing city views. You can see Shard, the city, I think it's a great place to take photos, enjoy coffee with the view or a cocktail in the evening and enjoy the city lights. You've probably noticed how many books they have which are there to read, not only for decor. I found some fashion books there as well like jewelry by Chanel or Dior couture book. So I'm sure everyone can find something for their taste. Back to the city, it was one of those days when it was raining and sunny and raining again but I managed to film something and um, to film a bit the city and my outfit. Now this outfit is more elegant, it's a total black look with a wide leg suit trousers, a knitted cardigan with a fur collar which I think is the main item that elevates this look. Then a pair of these cat eye sunglasses which I obviously didn't need that day but I thought it looks quite cool. So yeah then why sell Cassandra bag which I thought would look better than a black bag, I think it makes the look a little bit lighter and softer, so yeah, and a pair of heels. So this cardigan is from Stradivarius, I don't think they have them in stock anymore but I've seen so many similar cardigans on other brands so I'm going to link below some options for you if uh, you're interested. When the sun goes down, city of London comes to life. In the evenings there is always a challenge to find a restaurant without booking. Sometimes it's hard to be spontaneous and pop in a place that you passed by and it looked quite nice. Surprisingly this place was empty but in general it's better to book something especially if it's the middle of the week.
Okay, now a quick jewelry break. I want to share with you a brand that I've recently discovered. It's called Muli Collection and it's 100% female founded and owned jewelry brand based in Sweden. The quality of their jewelry is great. They are super affordable and I'm very happy with pieces that I've picked. A pair of mini hoops, a chain necklace and hoops with crystals. The mini hoops I'm wearing every day non-stop, they are my day-to-day -day earrings and when I want to change and wear something different I swap them for these elegant zirconia hoops and I added two pendants on one side. I love this mix and match option, I think it looks very unique, very stylish and very cool. And the chain necklace is such a statement piece. I like that it is not too chunky or heavy. It looks great on a jumper or a turtleneck and it's great especially now in fall winter. I've mentioned before that I'm allergic to some metals and blends of metals but their pieces are perfect and non-allergic. They're made of 18 karat gold pleated brass and it's a great option when you want a trendy jewelry that doesn't break your wallet. I will link below their site so have a look if you want to check their pieces and also I was wearing them in this video in my previous looks. Okay, so now I'm going to take you to Carnaby Street in Soho. In general, this area around Oxford Street Station for me is the closest between my work and my home. So I go there to do my shopping, meet my friends. So yeah, I hang out there quite a lot. So some parts has a village vibe. It has a unique shops, local brands, independent fashion boutiques. It used to be a rebellious place, very kind of like rock and roll where Jimi Hendrix, the Rolling Stones and the Beatles, they would hang out there. Now it's transformed to more colorful, trendy area. Now if you are there, you wouldn't miss the Ellen Cafe, which is very pink. I ordered matcha latte but they have so many other alternative lattes like rose spanish latte which is made with rose water or pistachio latte and they are all colorful drinks and super instagrammable. Now to the outfit I was wearing. It was pretty cold that day so I had to put some layers. So I'm wearing a lace top, then a turtleneck and a jumper. And then on top of all of that I'm wearing a bomber jacket that also has a quilted lining inside. So I made sure that I'm warm enough. So it's, it's Sunday and it was raining all morning, everything is wet but um, at least it's not windy so it's quite alright to just walk in the city. Usually I wouldn't wear white trainers after it was raining, I think it's crazy but that day the street dried pretty quick so it was okay. So these sneakers are from All Saints and as you see they have a little platform. Now these sneakers were on my wish list for a while and uh, I was really inspired by Celine Fall Winter Collection where they styled some outfits with similar sneakers so now I'm happy to wear them and style them when I want to elevate a simple outfit with a pair of jeans. As you see, I'm also wearing this mini card case that has a chain strap. I wear it as an accessory, but I also use it for my cards. It's super convenient and fashionable mini accessory, which I think is so adorable. And then on that day, I also took my large bag to carry all other stuff. 
By the way guys, I don't know if you noticed, but all these locations have different vibe, different color and I think London is very versatile in every area, you can catch different mood and I think my looks were quite different as well, so I hope you liked it, I hope you liked watching this video and um, I'll see you soon, take care, bye!